When you hit the play button, a computer-generated voice says the word, looping it over and over. The word is Laurel. Or maybe, Yenny, pronounced, Yenny. Some people hear Laurel and will go to their graves insisting that there's no other possibility. Others hear Yenny and nothing will budge their opinions. In office polls put the perceptions right around 50 to 50. When she got home, though, listening on a different device in a different room, we both heard Yenny. But when I played a pitch shifted, higher or lower, version, it was indisputably Laurel for both of us. In desperation, I sought an expert opinion. Dr. Bradford May, an auditory scientist at Johns Hopkins University, puts it like this, humans learn language by learning to attend to meaningful sound patterns, and by learning to ignore specific acoustic features of those sounds that are not important. So, a child, an adult female, and an adult male will produce very different acoustic patterns when they say yenny, but you will hear yenny because you are attending to the underlying meaningful pattern, not the talker-specific acoustic features. This is called categorical perception. You will never confuse yenny and laurel when spoken by actual talkers, because they can only produce natural sounds that fall within the distinct parameter spaces of the two sounds. In other words, if the yenny slash laurel puzzle weren't computer generated, it couldn't exist. The sound we're hearing is a combo that merges the two words, we hear different things because our hearing is different, and because our brains categorize differently. Bottom line, as with the dress, someone has stumbled upon an absolutely incredible razor's edge bit of hybrid sensory input. It doesn't matter if you hear yenny or laurel, the good news is that you're right. David Pogg, tech columnist for News Pulse Finance, welcomes non-toxic comments in the comments below. On the web, he's on Twitter, he's at Pog. On email, he's Pogaster at News Pulse. You can sign up to get his stuff by email, here. More from David Pog.